I'm real excited to try out these um, watercolor paints from Paula Rubens. They sent them to me and they're actually going to be uh, the prize for one random winner on the next um, painting challenge. I'm so excited about that. And I love to open boxes of paint. It's just, I'm like a little kid with a new toy. all the different colors they have. There's a lot of really good information here about how they make these. These are the fourth generation watercolor paints that they're making. Um, they're brand new, just recently released. So excited about that. Oh, that is so pretty. I cannot wait to dig in there and test these colors. I took out um, a split primary. I've got three of the cool primaries, um, magenta, phthalo blue, lemon yellow, and then I've got the warm primaries, cad red light, cad yellow deep, and French ultramarine blue. I'm going to test these out. Okay, I've taped it down. I'm ready to play. This is one of my favorite things to do is just get a little dot of color and just have some fun. Oh, that's really pretty, that lemon yellow. Look at that. This is the phthalo blue. Oh, wow, I just knew that was gonna be gorgeous. Look at that. Let's get over here and introduce to the yellow. Let them dance a bit. And then magenta. Oh, that is so pretty. Wow, these are really vivid. Let's have it mix a little with the phthalo. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, they're really pretty. Let's come down here and mix them all together. Let me get a little bit more of the blue down here. Oh, I got a lot of the blue. Phthalo blue is a an aggressive color. Okay, I've got a strong green there, so I'm trying to make a neutral here. Add some more pink. Here we go. Now we're getting some dark. We're getting some dark here. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. I love the colors. Okay, let's check out the warm ones over here. We got the cad yellow deep. Oh wow, that's very warm. Makes me think of oranges. And then ultramarine. Oh wow, that's really pretty. Gosh, it's really intense. Let's get over there and meet the yellow. And then cad red light, which is kind of an orangey red. A little more opaque than some others, but you need that sometimes. Okay, let's see what they all do together down here. A little bit more yellow, a little bit more blue. Getting us a dark color here. It's kind of greenish, so I'm going to add more red. Oh, that's a real pretty brown. Oh, wow. These are really vivid. Look at that cad red light. I just have to play with it a little bit more. That's really pretty. Okay, I want to play with the magenta again, just because I love pinks. That's so pretty. 
And then Thalo. Like I said, it's a pretty aggressive color. It really wants to take over. Let's have it mix in with a little bit of the cad red and make a real, oh, that's a beautiful gray. I like what is happening over here, all the different blends here. So pretty. I love this brown. That's a really pretty brown. I've never mixed a color that pretty before for a brown. Usually my browns are kind of blah. That's a very rich brown. Oh, these are so pretty. This pretty yellow. Let's see what that does with some that magenta. Oh, beautiful peachy, peachy color. Let's see if we can get some more of the blue. Oh, that's really pretty. Let me have it wash out to really light blue. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Love that light blue. It's granulating a little bit. Of course, ultramarine blue is a granulating color, which is not a negative thing. I like granulation. The particles start separating on the paper. It's even more noticeable if you have some uh, rough paper. This is um, 140 pound Arches Cold Press, which is probably one of my favorites. I like what's happening over here. When I touched it with that yellow, it just created this Beautiful, beautiful pink. Like I said, I could do this all day long. And this box has so many pretty colors to choose. I'm gonna be playing all afternoon. Okay, I love these paints. They are really vivid. I mean, very vivid, look at that. And all I had was just little dabs, six little dabs on this piece of paper. And there's still even more paint in here. So what, what do you all do with your scratch paper where you're just testing colors? I know some people just throw them away, but no, don't throw them away. You can cut these out and you make some kind of collage with them, make uh, a greeting card, you can just do all kinds of things with it. Okay, I think, no, I still have some more red. I have to paint until it's all gone. That's really pretty. I love this red. This is like my favorite CAD red light. It's not too opaque and it's just very, very vivid. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this um, unboxing and uh, short demo with these paints. Um, they're really good. I'm really impressed with the quality of how they mix on paper, um, how they blend together to create different, um, different colors. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about them. They're really good. You can see how opaque this is because it's going over the blue, creating a brownish color. Oh, it's so pretty. It's all dry now, and I wanted to get a little zoom in on some of the colors here. Um, really beautiful. I love that lemon yellow. And then the color it makes, that kind of grayish, um, blue when you combine all three so pretty and then that cad red light that's my favorite that's the winner <laughs> look at these gorgeous color mixes look at that ultramarine right next to that cad yellow deep so pretty and then that 
gorgeous chocolate brown. I mean, that, I'm going to have to have chocolate now because that is the color of chocolate. So pretty. And then the French ultramarine, you can see the granulation on the paper. And I took that cad red and just went right through the, the French ultramarine. It's, these colors, these paints are really pretty. I am impressed. Thank you, Paul Rubens. <laughs> this was exciting and fun to do.